buff the uh, really cleverly named organization that Bill and Sam and I formed in 2003. Technically stands for Brewers United for Freedom of Flavor. We had to remind Sam earlier today what it actually stood for. <laughs> buff is... Oh, let's see. If, no, I mean, it, Brewers United for... For the freedom of flavor. Freedom of flavor, because there's three Fs, technically. I'll credit Greg, because if I don't, he'll be angry. And the thought behind it was the manifesto of us liberating beer from the clutches of the evil macro brewers who had constrained the flavor and choked the life out of beer. It's been really rewarding uh, to dust off that buff moniker and bring it forward in a project like Saison de Buff. Maybe we can drum up a little noise, not just for ourselves, but for craft beer as a whole. You know, brews like Saison de Buff give us the opportunity to, to tell that story in a way that's really easy for even non-beer people to see hey, these breweries are working together and coming together to kind of change the, the, the beer landscape in America for good. One thing to consider when you're looking at a bottle that says Saison on it is that there's a wide latitude of different flavors and characteristics. Um, you know, Saisons are typically the classic interpretation is going to be lemony and peppery and refreshing on that level. It really brings this unique character that I've, I've never had another beer like it. I've had a lot of beers that have amazing uh, herbal notes and uh, certainly you get a lot of the very classic notes from all the different varieties of hops that we have, citrusy flavors and pineapple flavors today and, and piney and all these um, wonderful characteristics. But when you add these botanicals that we have, it just brings it, uh, I think I said it uh, in 2010, a whole new level. My understanding about Saison and, and its background is that it was really intended to be uh, a refreshing beer for farmhands to enjoy while the harvest was occurring. Being able to share this story with people I hope gives some transparency to just how uh, seriously we, we, we take this opportunity to do a beer with fresh local ingredients. Uh, you talk about the farm to table movement in the culinary world. This is farm to kettle movement, uh, you know, in, in kind of the most honest and, and local rep, you know, representation that it could have. Yeah, it's, it's extraordinary cool to, to just pick it destem it, wash it, and throw it in the brew kettle all within an hour or so. Uh, we're just uh, less than nine miles from the brewery here at the spot at Stone Farms. Well, as you can see by my, my green hands, I don't think this is a recipe that scales into tens of thousands of barrels. Uh, this is meant to be uh, something that comes out once a year in one batch a year. Mother Nature is as much a uh, part of this beer as, uh, as the, the, the brewing team is. Saison du Buff is, is truly an opportunity for not only the identity of the uh, ingredients to shine through, but I believe the identities of the breweries to shine through as well.